Well, speaking of being thankful for being here, that would be me. You know, Lisa and I have had a little thing. I don't know if y'all heard about it, because I may have overspoken. <laughs> I love her accent. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you or Harry when I spoke of something in public, and that's something that I don't normally do, and that was my mistake. I'm sorry. I appreciate you saying you're sorry. I, I do. But you didn't buy a tape. So let's just be clear about that. What? You canceled your table at the last no, minute. Yeah, you did. And you left them high and dry. And I had to scramble to get the tickets that we were supposed to have. I canceled the f***ing table. That's what they told me. Harry's publicist. Well, they're lying to you. This is what happened. I always get tickets. They gave our tickets away because Sutton said, please sit at our table. I said, great. The day before, we got an email that says Sutton canceled her table. You guys don't have any seats. The tickets are sold out. There's no more tickets. But they said, would you guys come and do an interview for half an hour with IMDb, and we'll give you seats at their table? So that's what I did. If we need to dig into it, we will. But it's embarrassing to the charity. I am a very philanthropic person. I'm not going to be told that I canceled. That's not going to happen. No. I thought you have a receipt for the t for the table. Did you bring them? Lisa, come on. First of all, I don't cancel the table. Can I just say, guys, it's, it's a little bit classless. It's not something that should ever be discussed. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, you brought it up that it was canceled, though. So she's proving that it's not. I honestly think that you need to find a different subject. I really do think I'm it's classless. You know it's, what? I'm embarrassed by it. Both honest, of you, yeah. like, honestly. I mean, I know Rena has her own receipts. Put those away. That's tacky. That's tacky. And Rena's like, yeah, tacky. <laughs> it's embarrassing, Sutton. It's it embarrassing to the charity. You know better than that. I also know what slander is. Oh, and I did not cancel a table. Are you going to sue me? Are you going to sue That's me an for cancel? Word. You canceled a table at the last minute. Per Land my public cancel a table. And he at said, the last "I'm sorry. Minute. You and Harry no longer have tickets." I you know that this is not true. Sutton, show it. If that's your proof, show it. This is your time. If you got it, got no, it. No, but if you got it, show it. I agree. I have to put my readers on because I am 50 now. So we read, will Harry Hamlin and Lisa Renna be sending in registration forms to purchase tickets? In return, I write, I am going to take care of Lisa and Harry's tickets. Here's my Amex on February 23rd. Thanks so much, Sutton. We've successfully processed both. For the two seats, it was $11,500. That's it. So, there you go. She paid for the table, y'all. She paid for the table. But did you back out last second? For whatever reason, Lisa was given that information. I mean, I'm not trying to be anything other than this is what I was told. You guys, Diana can speak to it because she underwrites this party. This is her event. I'm starting to see why Rena has invited Diana to the party. She could have paid for it and said, I'm not coming. Right. I think she's not only a friend, but perhaps a character witness. And they could have released the table. No, she did go. Oh, oh. As it turns out, I am very involved with this charity. I have been main sponsor of this charity event for a very, very long time. Elton and his husband, David, is a very good friend of mine. That charity is something that is very, very close to my heart. It's very personal. So you were both at this event? We sat at the same table. Come on, y'all. This is so unfair. Okay, it, why is it unfair? You brought it up, baby. You gotta, like, figure it out, because you're the one that started it. Sutton thinks a little too much about herself, because if you're thinking about a receipt to somehow one-up me at my husband's birthday party, and our good friend has been held at gunpoint in a burglary in her home, something's off with your empathy meter if that's what you're worried about right now. It's getting confusing. So you guys both had good intentions, 
And we both let, you know, a little cattiness jump in here in this moment because you're both upset with each other. But at the end of the day, you both wanted to support a really important charity, and you did. So I think that you have to say that some miscommunication happened, and honestly, I've the receipts... That. It's, it's... She did. She I, did I, apologize. I, yes, I... You did apologize, and I do appreciate that. Lisa? You know what it's like to step in it. Yes, and I do. So I did. Yes. And that's what yeah. I did. Where's right. my apology? And you're not getting one. Why not? Because I don't like you. <laughs> oh, good. This is a mutual thing. Yeah, never. <laughs> Go f yourself. You can f yourself. Oh, my God. You guys, come on. We can't talk like that. Don't talk like that to each other. Shut up. You shut up.